Hi, this is Trey Passer. This is going to be my review of Soul. This movie came on Christmas on Disney Plus channel. Um, this is stars Jamie Foxx. It's the character named Joe. The description of it says uh, he plays Joe, a musician who's lost his passion for music, and he gets uh, transported out of his body, and he must, you know, try. He's trying to basically get back to Earth into his body because he has this big break coming up playing jazz with this big famous musician that he's always wanted to play play for and he, he, he has to he basically needs the help of this uh, uh, I guess lost soul <laughs> uh, played by uh, named 22 played by Tina Fey okay Jamie Foxx of course plays Joe okay and like I say he's a, a musician who's been trying to break out big right now he's teaching at you know at a high school I guess it's a junior high maybe it's a junior high school at a junior high school you know, he's teaching music, trying to teach them jazz and stuff, and he, like, that's his passion, that's what he wants, he wants his big break. Of course, his, his mom is always on him, telling him, you know, that you, you should, uh, you know, concentrate on, you know, on, you know, teaching, you know, be, be a teacher and stuff, because it's, you know, you're, you have this pie in the sky dream of being, of making it, but it's probably not going to do it, you've been doing this all your life, and so, you know, he's kind of down that he's, but he, he actually does get his uh, big break when he uh, gets a chance one uh, of his former students asked him to audition for this uh, famous musician he's, you know, to play for, and they need a, 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 a member on piano, and he, he wows her, and he gets the gig, but of course, like you see in the trailer, before he gets, you know, on the way home, he, he kind of falls into a manhole and literally dies. <laughs> like I said, that's not a spoiler, because that's in the trailer. And he gets, you know, sent, you know, to heaven, and he's getting ready to go into the great beyond, but, he, you know, he kind of gets, you know, sidetracks himself because he wants, you know, to get back, you know, to earth to, you know, to, to get his big break and get the success that he, he thought, you know, that's finally he's going to get, okay? And Tina Fey plays 22, this kind of jaded soul who was supposed to, supposed to, you know, the new soul was supposed to go back, but she's kind of been through a lot of uh, trainers to, be, you know, she's kind of a wildcat, <laughs> put it, to put it mildly, and, and, and and they, you know, they have all these trainers that she went through, all these famous trainers that she went through. Uh, and she, you know, she runs into Joe and, and he tries it with her help to, you know, to get back, you know, to earth, to uh, get back in his body so he can uh, make this big existence and get a big break that he's finally been waiting for all his life. Uh, first of all, the, the animation in this is absolutely beautiful. Okay, absolutely beautiful. And the music, ugh. Uh, uh, the jazz, because yeah, I'm not a big jazz fan. My bro my older brother, he loved jazz, and I know he probably loved the music in this. And I, and but I thought this movie was really good. It might have to be of uh, what was the other movie? The one with the emotions. I forgot the name of that movie. The other Pixar movie with the you know the emotions of the little girl. And it took you into there. I forgot what the name of that one. But but anyway, uh, it kind of reminds me of that of that way because they you know they do a lot of world building where you see how heaven is and how. The places that before that people go before they get their souls and and get sent to Earth. Uh, they, again, they do a lot of good world building, so you, you got a sense of what that world is and stuff. And also, of course, Joe's world, where he's at, like a teacher at the school, trying to teach these kids that are kind of jaded. <laughs> and his mom, you know, he works in the place with his mom, and he, you know, he has to try to get this break that he really wants because he's, you know, music is his passion and stuff. And so basically, you got a guy that has this passion for music. Uh, teaming up with this lost soul that basically has no passion for anything. Okay, that's the, basically that's their little odd couple, and they have to kind of, you know, team up to get him back to Earth and into his body and let him get his big break. But like I said, I really enjoyed it. I, I thought it was really nice, touching on a nice, nice little level, you know, life lessons and stuff. Because uh, without spoiling it, uh, Joe, you know, comes to you know, he kind of. He comes to this realization after all the things that happened to him in this movie about you know about passion and and dedicating and and, and loving something so much and and without spoiling it, I think they did a real good job you know getting you to to that point you know letting you know seeing that character progress from one point to another point. I thought they did a really good job with that with this character and Tina Fey. I thought was hilarious. as twenty two. She's like the cynical uh, cynical soul that's just. That was funny. It's, her character was really funny to me. She provided a lot of the humor in this and stuff. And seeing her come down to the you know, to Earth and, and seeing all the new things and stuff, 
I thought they did a really good job in explaining, like I said, world building. So you got an appreciation of how, you know, heaven is and the place with the souls and how, you know, they did a good job of showing the hustle bustle of this, of the big city. And so I thought they did a really good job. And the comedy <laughs> was good. And so they, I think they did a really good job with it. And I thought Jamie Foxx was really good as uh, Joe. You know, you can tell he has a passion. You know, Jamie Foxx has a passion for music anyway. But I thought it was a really good movie. Really uh, touching in spots. And just, uh, again, it taught you like life lesson, a life lesson about learning to appreciate what you have and stuff and and and, and taking the joy out of life. I thought it was, I thought it was good life lessons to teach. Anyway, uh, I, I'll give a look at Soul. I'm going to give it a, uh, I'm going to give it an eight. Okay, I thought the animation was absolutely breathtakingly beautiful in this movie. Music, on point. I thought the acting was really good and the life lessons that he, they, they taught you to learn. Like I said, it's a little long for an animated movie. I think it's, what, uh, what is it? Uh, an hour and 40 minutes. So that's kind of a little long for an animation movie. So, for an animated movie. So, because usually animated movies are usually like, like 80 minutes or 90 minutes at the most. This is a little bit long, but I enjoyed it anyway. So again, I'm going to give it a soul and eight. I thought it was a really good uh, story. I, the only, my only negative thing to me, let me just put it this way, cat, okay? I thought that was part was, was a little silly and what I was following it. I thought that part was really kind of silly, but I understand why they did it, okay? In the context of the movie, if you watch it, you'll understand. Uh, you know, why they did it and how it plays out. Okay, so anyway, an eight for me, uh, for Soul. Anyway, let me know what you think of uh, Soul. <laughs> uh, I'll give you uh, links to my social media in the description box, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I also have a link to my other channel called Views in the Pains. Please check that out as well. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long. Take care.